next week. That's all I've got. Then the farm vanishes and so does that earring. Really? Well, if you can't manage the whole week, maybe just a day or two. No, it has to be now. They start tearing the farm apart next week. I'm sure. I'm sat right outside it now. I can see the sign. No, I already tried Claire. She's away partying at a festival. Jen's in Hong Kong on business. No, you weren't the last. I just thought, you know, with, with the kids and everything. Of course not. Look, oh, I'm sorry, Sally. Forget I asked. <laughs> Jake's gone away. And I just thought we could get the old gang back together. You know, for a bit of fun. Like the old days. Oi, detecting is fun. Look, <laughs> don't worry about it. I've... I've actually been thinking of asking Adam if he'd help. Yes, that Adam. You don't say it like that. You lot just never understood him. And, well, he's never let me down. Jake isn't here, is he? Besides, Adam's a friend. Nothing else. And despite what you all think, he is good for me. I don't need to ask anyone else for help. Trust me, I need Adam. I shouldn't have called, not at this hour. I ignore me, speak soon, yeah? Hey, Adam. It's me. Oh, look, I know it's been years, but I've got myself into a situation. I don't think I can handle it. Not on my own. That unfinished business at the farm? We need to finish it. Now. Loud and clear. Where are you? Don't worry, I'm close by. God, you weren't kidding about getting an early start. I was hoping we might have a lazy start to the week. Grab breakfast, mooch around, get reacquainted. But no. There'll be plenty of time to do that while we detect. Good to know these things are still working. They are, which is a surprise considering how cheap and nasty they look. These were the coolest toys money could buy in 2005. Haven't we grown out of toys? Oh, chill out. They'll do the job. Claire and I once chatted all the way across the valley with him. Grab the shovel and the trowel, then head out to the fields. Hurry up! You're missing a beautiful day! Up here. These views are incredible. I'm so glad you're here, Adam. Still can't quite believe it. A whole week with no distractions. Your detector's over by the gatepost. Right by the fields, you'll be scouring first. Mm. 
What about the wind turbines? So, two giant wind turbines have just been erected. Where are you going with this? Well, if you give me a minute, two wind turbines have just been installed. The first one thinks, oh, we're going to be neighbours for years, I should break the ice. So, it turns to the other one and says, hey, uh, what kind of music are you into? And the second wind turbine says, I'm a huge metal fan. That's awful. <laughs> Don't give up the day job. Mm, right now, this is my day job. <laughs> Tragic. Just switch it on and walk around. As soon as you get close to anything metal, it'll beep like crazy and light up. That's it. I just walk around swinging this thing about. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Nice. You could probably train a monkey to do this. <laughs> Maybe I just did. Touché. Oh, we're going to have fun this week. Now, serious for a second. I usually work in straight lines, rather than randomly walking around. It's easier that way. OK, you're the boss. For once, I'm not the boss. Now, let's see what you can find. Hey, a penny's a great first find, but we'll find something way more impressive before this week's out. You sure about that? You scoured this place as a kid. Not much has happened here since. We could go anywhere, but you insist on staying here in Stanning. I don't get it. Come on, you know why. That earring? The best thing I ever found. The other one is definitely here, and I want to find it. That earring? You can't be sure the other one's here. It is. Always has been. Don't care what anyone else says. Last time, it wasn't just a lucky find, you know. You're not going to drop it, are you? This obsession of yours. <laughs> that earring changed my life. Okay, I was only a kid, but it changed everything. It still makes me smile thinking about it. The money seemed like a lottery win back then. And being in the papers, being the centre of attention. It was nice. You, we could have done this years ago. Why now? I asked Farmer Hobbs so many times, but he always said no. Maybe he thought he could find the other earring for himself. But not this time. Well, he couldn't really, could he? Not now that he's dead. Just when you were starting to think the day would never come, he goes and dies. Surprised you didn't help him on his way. Oi! No! It wasn't like that. He passed away. He's heirs 
sold up. And next week, they start installing a solar farm. So this is it. The last chance for more fame and fortune. It's the last chance to find that earring. I don't care about the money or being in the news again. No, I just want to... Oh, it felt so good last time. I don't think I've ever been as happy. But we should crack on, just in case the builders arrive early and turf us off. You mean, I'm not supposed to be here? No, oh, relax, Adam. I bet no one even notices you. Looks like half a sweetheart locket. Not precious? Nah, sorry. Just some cheap metal. And it's broken. Literally a broken heart. Mm. Speaking of broken hearts... Seems odd that Jake isn't here. You were inseparable once. 
We're engaged. I'm joined at the hip. Mm, but still. He's gone away with his annoying rugby friends for a few days. That's all. I'll be back soon. Maybe you should text him. Let him know he's missing out on all this fun, right? Maybe. And he is missing out. He's got no idea how much he's going to miss out on. Hey, I forgot to ask, is your detector working okay? I think so. Why? Oh, it's my old one. The battery can be a bit temperamental. Your old one? You mean I've got your cast off? <laughs> yeah, afraid so. Can I um, try using your detector for a while? Mm, see how we get along. I might let you have a go. In a few days. I'm scared I might find more than you if I have some decent kit. <laughs> I like your ambition. Maybe we'll make a truffle pig of you yet. <laughs> what? The, a, a, a truffle pig? Oh, blame Dad. He started calling me a truffle pig because I could sniff treasure through all the mud. Oh, I loved that nickname. It became our gang name too. Me, Claire, Sally, Jen. We were the Truffle Pigs. Our detectors too. That's Truffle Pig 1 you're holding. You named your metal detector Truffle Pig? Oh, no, hold on. I'm beeping. What? Did you find something else? Oh, this false alarm. It was my crazy person detector going off because it overheard you calling your detector Truffle Pig. Anyway, you already knew I was crazy. I think that's why you agreed to come here. Lured to an isolated farm by a crazy woman. And only one of them will leave. <laughs> I'm sure one of the truffle pig t-shirts Dad had made for us is still in my attic. I should dig it out. I hope you're not expecting me to be seen in one of those. Mm, no, I think you're safe on that count. Want a break for lunch? Your detector must almost be out of juice. We can recharge it. Sure. Okay, meet me back at the car. This car is going to be so muddy by the end of the week. I'm trying not to get crumbs everywhere. Wow, you really love your car, don't you? Uh-huh. So, how was your first morning of detecting? No gold yet, but there's plenty of time, right? It's nice to be outside. That's the spirit. 
Are we gonna pretend nothing's happened? What? <laughs> it's been so long, and you're just pretending we've never been apart. That nothing's wrong. Um. Okay. Well, how's life been since we last saw one another? Shouldn't I be asking you questions? Like, why am I even here? And how come you're not at work? Your job always seemed to come before everything else. You were obsessed with it. I was. I, I am. But... But... I've been working like crazy lately. I thought I'd see how Mudderlot survives without me. If you insist. Mudderlot. Such a silly name. <laughs> Mom asked me what I liked, and I said, I like mud. A lot. <laughs> oh, I wish she was still here to see what she created. Her little outdoor equipment company. It's an empire now. We're the biggest employer in the valley, you know. Stanning would die on its ass without mud a lot. And when Dad retires, it's going to become your empire? Yup. Well... Dad'll probably put me in charge. I mean, I'm the eldest. Arguably the smartest. The most modest Mudderlot sister. Absolutely. Definitely the best at tree climbing. <laughs> you remembered. But yes, all of those things. Perfect CEO material. It must be mine, right? What if you're wrong? I've been there longer than Lucy. It wouldn't make sense not to. And your dad agrees? Okay, dad hasn't said out loud, but it's always been the plan that I'd take over. You know, I thought we had plans once. We were a team. Till you ditched me. Forgot all about me. That's not fair, Adam. Or true. I never forgot about you. I never wanted you to go. I... I had to. Well, I'm here now. But you still haven't said why. Are we ever going to discuss it? Why I'm really here? We're here to find that earring. Not sit here eating sandwiches and Jaffa cakes all day. We should be fully charged again now. Come on. Back to it. Nice find. Sadly, they're only valuable if they're pristine and boxed. A fancier model of car would help too. But you're definitely getting the hang of this. Speaking of fancy cars, I noticed yours is a bit flash. You only live five minutes walk from Mudderlot. Did you really need something so expensive? If I ever want to head off, go exploring, it's fun to drive. Really? When was the last time you did that? Hey, I work like crazy. I'm allowed to treat myself. I worked hard for that car. Treat yourself is a box that you only use to drag yourself from home to work. One day, I will go on a road trip. You can come too, but I might make you catch the bus for being mean. Fine by me. Anyway, I like buses. Being with other people, watching the world go by. Yeah? And what about the weirdo you always get on buses? Chatting away to themselves? <laughs> oh, wait! You are the weirdo! Oh, you think I'm the weirdo? Thank you. 
Like it. It's years since I've been camping. But you, at one point, it seemed like you lived in a tent. <laughs> I pretty much did when I was a kid. I'm just so busy now. I can't remember the last time. But I should. Just jump in the car and find somewhere nice to pitch up. With Jake? It'd be cosy. Just the two of you. Far away from work and the stress. I guess I've just got into the habit of working. Like time. Weekends are, well, they're not really weekends. But it's all part of growing up, being an adult, I guess. Says who? The Beth I used to know would take being in a field over being sat at a desk any day. Yeah? That Beth used to like banana sandwiches or the smell of bonfires on her clothes. <laughs> Face it, we've moved on. Mm-hmm. Mm. 